Welcome to Half the Battle! Hey, remember during the April lockdown, I made a few extra episodes focusing on the motorized accessory packs. And that was pretty fun, so I'm doing another one now, as part of the Small Vehicles and Playset series. And they don't get much smaller than these now, do they? So meet the Earth Borer. This pack was released in 1987 with all original parts. And I have to say, this is one of the weirder ones. I mean, it's a drill. It's a drill! That's a very specific piece of equipment. Now, a radar or a gun, that's something useful for any military camp. A freaking drill, though, that can only drill into the earth if you believe the name. Yeah, that only has a very limited number of uses. As a toy, though, well, I can see it being a lot of fun for kids. Digging trenches in the backyard for their cobra troops, throwing up dirt to make defensive walls, it certainly has a lot of play value. And because of that, I can only imagine how many of these damn things ended up buried in backyards all around the world. G.I. Joe does so much work to confuse future archaeologists. As for its overall look, um, it kinda looks like an evil R2-D2. What, you don't see it? How about now? Yeah, there you go. Well, okay, only if evil R2-D2 had a giant silver rotating dick. And now you'll never be able to unsee that. You're so welcome! And yes, I'm aware Star Wars already has an evil R2-D2 somewhere. It does have a great color scheme that fits in well with Cobra, so that's nice to see. Now, as usual, we have to look at it as a backpack. The legs fold up and... Yeah, look, there's only so many different ways I can say this looks stupid in these action pack videos, so this looks stupid. I think the only way this works even a little bit is if you put it on the back of a battle android trooper, since these are supposed to be really strong robots, and as far as I know, robots don't get hernias. Anyway, back to non-backpack talk. With the Earth Borer, the wind-up knob is not hidden, but the on-off switch is, well, sort of. It's the small handles on top, but the thing already has handles for a figure to hold on to, so it's a bit superfluous. They could have found a way to make the big handles be the on-off switch, really. That brings us to the gimmick. And I'm sure it will come as a huge surprise to you to learn that in the case of the Earth Borer, the drill revolves. Unlike the radars we've looked at before, the drill is the only part of this thing that moves. I'd be more disappointed about that, but... Well, it's a drill! I don't think it's fair to expect more of the thing. And like I said, it does have a great look. Cobra blue, grey and the drill is chromed silver. Though on its own it kinda looks like Destro's been in a horrible industrial accident. Also, both due to age and wear and tear from kids playing with it, the chrome can lose its shine. By the way, this isn't the only time Cobra ventured underground. They also had the buzz bore. And believe me, this thing's time is coming! I'll probably look at it next summer. Another underground vehicle was the Mole Pod, from the Rise of Cobra movie toy line. Lastly, though I didn't do this for the other motorized packs, I guess there's the character... Do I really have to? There, everybody happy? We really only have the car to go on, since I can't recall this thing ever showing up in the cartoons or comics. And the only thing to note about the cart is that the borer is operated by Crockmaster, who isn't the character I'd associate with construction work. Circus work, maybe, but not construction work. A Techno Viper would be a far better choice, and what's even weirder is they have one on the cart inside that flying hammock thing. Honestly, almost everybody is using the wrong thing here. Raptor should be in the flying thing, considering he's dressed as a bird. Techno Viper should be drilling, and Crockmaster should be shooting. And that's about it for the Earth Borer. It's a cool little thing, but doesn't enhance a battlefield like many other motorized packs do. Oh well, at least you can say the Earth Borer isn't boring. That... that was a terrible line. So on that note, I'll see you next time, everybody. And hey, why not like, share and subscribe if that's your thing.